<laughs> well, listen, thank y'all so much for coming. This has been beautiful. Dad, I got a few rapid questions um, I want to hit you with okay. um, before, before, before we get on out of here. The first thing I'm going to have you do, I want you to pull one of these intention cards, man. You can cut the deck, pull, yeah, pull, the pull deck. however you want to. Once you get the card, I want you to read, the, read what the principle is, and I want you to read the definition, please. Oh wow! This it's this, always in divine order, man. man. Yeah, it ain't but divine order. What does that say? Say it loud. Say it in the mic, right there. Yeah. Bet on bet on yourself. Mm, bet on read, yourself. Read that definition and then tell us why that's important. Um. So it says the the one right, right under, underneath. Yep. The, yep. The, uh huh. You're amazing. Combat downplaying and thinking less of yourself. Right, so be authoritative. Know that you are great. That's what that's saying, Camille. You are powerful. Connect to God, mm-hmm. the great I am, who lives within you. Mm. You got this. Yeah, man. What? <laughs> Why is that important, man? Man, that is important because, like this says, God. We not we. God is not limited. God is inside of us. God is omnipresent. God is everywhere. That's right. And so when you understand that God is in and a part of everything, then that means you are in and a part of everything. That's and right. so the same things um, can be expected of ourselves as long as we tap it into our higher frequency that's within us. Beautiful, man. Okay, next next question. Man, um, that's 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 big. What's your what what's your purpose and how is that connected to what you're doing today? <clears throat> um, my purpose is to I feel like my purpose is is to um, uplift others. It's to uplift others. Um, God put placed me here in the energy that He uses through me to be that light for other people. And 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 how it's played out today is through everything that I do, whether it's with um, young people through sports, young people through education, but even adults. You know what I'm saying? Even adults now and being able to help them understand the mindset that I approach life with. Um, I've been able to just impact multiple people. So I feel like that's why God is you. That's what God is using me for is to just to be an instru- instrument through him to uplift and, you know, be positive to people. What's something about you people be surprised to know? Something about me that people will be surprised to know. Uh, I am a wonderful cook. <laughs> Would you agree? Okay, I'm going to say you hesitated a little bit. She didn't want to answer. Why you hesitating? No, no, she, <laughs> I'm a wonderful she, cook. And my wife always was on the road. You had to get it in. Daddy that's was good. getting it in. Yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> you hesitating. His, his, his spaghetti and his pasta is really good. And his chicken and fried. Okay, all right. All and right. salmon. Yeah, and his salmon and his grilling and his burgers and yeah, grill master. Like, we doing it all. She over there <laughs> traumatized. Like, I'm telling you, so they don't, like, watch TV, none of that. She over there, like, oh, man, Instagram. Oh, my goodness. That's hilarious. All right, what's the what's the question you ask yourself the most? Mm-hmm. Who? What's the question that I ask myself the most? Um, Man, I, I, I don't know. What's the question I ask myself the most? I don't know. I don't know. If I, cause I, I, I'm not really like always questioning myself. Uh, huh? That's a deep. I, I, I don't know. Okay. All right. Nothing wrong with that. What scares you? Uh, honestly, I wouldn't say nothing scares me because I like fear is. Uh, you know, there is fear, false evidence appearing real, like perfect love casts out all fear. Some of the things that I've been taught at a young age. And so I don't really, I, I, when, when, if fear comes to my spirit, then I, I override fear with God. Mm, good, good. What's the best advice you ever received? The best advice that I ever received? Um... I would go with a quote. I mean, I've received so much great advice, but a quote that is relevant to everything that I've done is, is Frederick Douglass. No struggle, no progress. Because we have to have the struggle. Right. That's how you grow. We've right. all grown through the struggle. That's a fact. Um, what's the worst advice you've ever received? Uh, the worst advice is uh, that marriage isn't good. Mm, yeah, that's terrible advice. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah, that's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> um, what is one thing that no matter what you know to be true? That 
God is a spirit. Mm, I like that. If you could give everyone one practice that they had to do every day, what would it be? Take a moment. Take minutes for yourself Mm. every day. Yeah. Like you owe it to yourself. Yeah. You'll give everybody else time and attention and won't give yourself any. Good, man. Good. Well, listen, last question, man. What, what's the what's the vision, man? What's the long term goal? What's the what's the overall vision and view that you see for for you, yourself, what you building for your girls, your family? What's the overall vision that you see? The overall vision for myself is to uh, impact people on multiple levels in terms of them believing in themselves. Educa- like it's so many things from business to education to just the world and just, you know, creating a better world, being used as an instrument Uh, through my family, um, for them just to believe in themselves and know that they can do anything. Like I I don't put any limits on them and what they could do. Um, And then just continuing to be um, in communication with my wife so that we can continue to grow in our relationship. Good, man. Beautiful, beautiful. Listen, man, give everybody, you know, your social media tags, websites where they can find the books, um, things you got coming up. Um, speaking engagements, just th- things like that, where they can find you and kind of you know tap tap in with you. Um, so I'm on I'm, I'm <laughs> active on social media uh, on Instagram and Twitter. I'm Akron Coach underscore JoJo. Um, on Facebook, Kenny JoJo Smith. My nonprofit is Ladies First Akron. You can look that up. Find it everywhere. Uh, my business name is I Am Possible Enterprise. I am. Possible I am is God's name, and so that's why I came up with the name I am possible enterprise.com. You can find that. Um, in terms of what I have coming up, I'm working, I have some surprises for uh, us as a father daughter um, authors. Man, I got some stuff working. I, I had a very important phone call last night. I cannot wait to this come to fruition. It's gonna blow my daughter's mind. And uh, I'm speaking at the uh, Athletes Unite conference in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, from Shakeout, um, that's taking place in July. So just continuing to, to you know, use um, sports and education to impact the world. So that's just what I'm gonna continue to do. Beautiful man. Well, listen, thank y'all again, JoJo, Camille, Cam. Thank y'all so much for coming. I appreciate y'all. This has been a wonderful conversation. Good luck this weekend. Kill thank it. I hope you. you hit all 25 of your free throws too. And I want to continue to see these books keep growing. Uh, I want to. I want to get some. You know, for for. For my kids and you know doing what we got doing, but man, congratulations, yeah. man! We love this. Keep on doing Thank this. You, this man. is huge, man. We appreciate you inviting us. No to be problem, on. no problem. Listen, another episode. Lyp, peace. <laughs>